Hello girlies, it's Jonay82 and I'm here trying, still trying to complete my LA Colors Trio series. So, bear with me. Um, this is the look I came up with and I will be using Magnolia today. And just to let you girlies know, also, um, these are currently on sale at cherryculture.com. They have a 20% off sale going on. So, I believe these are two dollars on their site so with 20% off that's going to make them 160 so you can't beat that price like I said the second half of my series you cannot find these at the Dollar Tree and to my knowledge they can only be found at Cherry Culture so these are the, the trio the colors right here and I, of course I'm going to do swatches and as usual with the second series those are the colors on my finger and swatch on the back of my hand. That purple is not as pigmented as the other ones. And as you can recall from the last one I did, the one before this, the blue wasn't pigmented, which is which was the strongest color in that palette, which is the same with this one. The purple is the strongest color. So we basically have, um, this is a peachy color right here purple and then it's like a champagne kind of like highlight looks like it has a little bit of golden yellow undertone and that's that and as you can see it is powdery but we can work with that of course they're very beautiful colors so for this look I kind of just came up with this which is something pretty simple so um yeah, if you want to know how I do my eyebrows, I did an updated um, brow tutorial right before this video. So basically, I already did my eyes and I primed them with the e.l.f. eyelid primer. Then after that, I did my mobile lid with my white NYX base. And I did um, from the crease to the uh, brow bone and my um, skin tone um, NYX base. For my transitional color today, I'm using this L'Oreal Tree Much color, and this one is in C7 Nut Brown. I got this last year when CVS had that big um, sale. You can use basically whatever face powder that you use. I don't use this one right now, but any face powder you use, you can use as your transitional color. It does not have to be um, an eyeshadow. It can be a bronzer, pressed powder, whatever you have, loose powder, anything. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. if I can find it, blending brush and get some of that color and adjust my mirror a little bit. Put that in my crease and blend that out really good. Sometimes that base can crease, so all you have to do is pat it in. Okay, so now I'm going to jump into the trio, and I'm going to take that purple color right there in the middle, and I'm going to use my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, and I'm actually doing a light spray of the e.l.f. missing set very light because you don't want your brush to be damp and I'm going to grab that purple and pat that on my lid you really have to work with this purple because even wet it's still kind of, you know, I don't know if my palette is old, but I won't say that because the other two colors swatch mine. It's just, and y'all know how I feel about purple, so y'all know, I mean, I love the colors. It's just a little hard to work with a little bit, but yeah, I just wish it was very pigmented like the other colors. So I'm just going to blend that up until the crease. 
and then I'm going to use, go back with the blending brush, the same blending brush I did with my um, transition color. I'm just going to blend out those harsh lines. Add a little bit more color to get the color that I'm trying to achieve. Okay, so that should be fine right there. Now I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush, and this is the Deluxe Crease brush. Looks like this, and I'm gonna go in with that peach color, and that's actually going to be my crease color. And I'm gonna do the same because that color is pretty pretty sheer. I'm going to just do a light mist with the mist and set. And then I'm going to go into that peach color. Right there. Blend that into my crease. like so and as my brow bone highlight I'm going to go back to my all time favorite highlight the Revlon Vintage Leaf just the a matte beige color off white looks like that just want to take this no name brush and grab some color and put it in my highlight like so and then I'm going to go back with the Real Techniques brush and blend my highlight and my crease color in together just like that to soften up the lines you can always go back in and add more color from your trio if you need to okay. Now for my bottom, I'm actually going to line my lower lid with my Milani 24, I'm sorry, 12 hour eyeshadow, shadow eyes, pencil in 01 winter white. This is my first time using this pencil. And the color and the consistency reminds me of the Maybelline color tattoo, the white one. I'm just going to go on just like that. Now I'm going to use my Oak Smudge Brush. And I'm going to go into the lightest color in the trio. Right there. And I'm going to put that in my inner tear duct along and along the bottom of my lash line. And I'm just going to had it on that Milani pencil. Make sure it looks like that. For liner today, I'm using my Maybelline Line Stiletto, and I was wondering, this used to be my favorite, and I was kind of wondering why I haven't been using it, because it's not as pigmented as it was before, it's a little watery. Actually, before I do that, let me use my Maybelline Defining Line and, and do my water lines. It's a good liner, but I think maybe it just needs to be replaced. So now I'm going to use my liner.
and of course you know I have to wing out my liner <clears throat> and with this it kind of has a patent leather type of sheen shine when it dries that's the one thing I I loved about this liner because I don't have any other liners that has that same effect So yeah, I know I go dramatic with my liner. You don't have to. That's just my preference. Yes, it's really drying now. <laughs> that that and of course I'm still using my Maybelline Mega Plus and that's that and for blush today, I'm using Wet n Wild Heather Soap along with my Rose Techniques Multitask Brush, which is this pink one. Okay, and since I have a lot going on with the eyes, well, sort of, kind of, or I just moisturize my lips with my EOS balm. I think that's passion fruit. And I'm just going to use um, my Revlon Lip Butter in 095 and Cream Brulee. I had to give this a rest. You guys, I was killing this. I was wearing this every day. And this conditions your lips like no other. I could tell a difference using this on my lips. I have quite a few of these, but to be honest, this is the only one I've used, and I love it. I think I'm going to go through a new lip stage because I'm really selling new lips right now. Okay, so this is the look I came up with. I hope you like it. And once again, this is the LA Colors Trio and magnolia these are what the colors look like in the pan and this is what they look like watching on my hand so let me know what you think and i'll catch you girlies in the next video you know i got some polls for y'all so please stay tuned i really it's a, a collective poll i guess you could say um been shopping pretty much all week so yeah i'll catch you girlies in the next video bye